Hey guys, Erica here, Scrap Diva 29. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today with a quick project share. I have been working on a flip book uh, for somebody and I just wanted to share what I made. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what you're looking at right here is a different uh, style flip book that I have created. I had been wanting to use the um, dies that I had recently purchased that make um, file folders from Sizzix and um, this is what I came up with. So I decorated with flowers. This is a Project Life card um, and these flowers are from Michaels and Hobby Lobby. I did start to color up and play with my new greeting farm stamps. These are the minis and she's holding a little coffee and this is like a coffee themed um, flip book. So um, that's kind of where I was going with this. Now I, after I had heard this I totally forgot. Well then I thought oh I should have added like glitter or sequence. I could have made this a shaker on the front but I had already adhered it down so that's okay but still super cute so let's go ahead and open it. I did kind of make this like um, a mini album just using heavyweight cardstock and not uh, chipboard. So this is the gusset and then this is the back of the book and this is a stamp that says this was especially made with love, authentic, 100% handmade and then I just put my name and signed it. Just wanted to do something a little bit different. So I did use a satin ribbon pink closure and you open it up and this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the first page right here and I used this Greeting Farm stamp and this is one of the um, remix sets and colored her up super cute I made an envelope a vellum envelope and then this opens up which I'm not going to open it but it has some uh, die cuts that I have die cut for um, this particular person so I just thought that was so extra cute I am I'm still learning how to Copic color I'm not the best but I'm happy with the way it came out and um, the person that receives this, she's like an expert so um, I hope she won't judge. I'm sure she won't but anyway. Alright so this is the next little page and it is a tab and it says hello friend and I used my, my dies um, to die cut these out. This is Paper Smooch's heart die. These little tiny hearts are from Simon Says Stamps and um, they came in like a card kit that I had purchased a couple of months ago. This coffee cup is the Sizzix uh, Tim Holtz coffee mug die and then I just turned it into a shaker and um, just added some gold accents and a little flower punch with bling. Super cute. And then it goes down and this is the next page and you can see I've created some paper clips for this person and their little uh, you know coffee cups and I just thought that was super cute so I made three different ones I made it a belly band and just clipped them on and then this is a border punch a heart border punch and then another edge border punch and on the backs of each of these tabs I did um, die cut a word and that one says hello and this one says love and I did that on the backs of all the tabs I just thought that was really cute this page right here it says but first and then it has a little coffee mug and then I colored up another one of these little images and I'm not sure which girl that is somebody gifted me that girl um, somebody had um, stamped this up for me and sent it to me so I used one of those stamps and I added some sequins and I used a Spellbinders die, thicker stickers and these stickers I think I got from Tuesday morning and then I used another one of those little gold hearts which is a die that I own and this die tab right here is from Pretty, Pretty Pink Posh I think, yeah. So that's what I used to create this particular tab. So this one folds down and this is my next page and then I used one of these vellum tags. I think I purchased at Michael's. It's a 12 by 12 sheet and I cut it out. Added some bling. I made this envelope with a Sizzix die that I own. Um, added some flowers. This is a flower punch with bling. 
This is a little coffee cup clip that just comes off and then in here it just says we just click and I just stamped that image. I just thought, that, thought that was super cute. So added that in and then that just clips down like that. And then over here I used those, um, what are they called, pocket um, pages from my, me and my big ideas, the ones I purchased from Tuesday morning. Um, this one says life is good and then it has fun facts about me. This one says be so good they can't ignore you. And then this one has my crafty favorites on the top of that one. And this says follow your heart and I used washi tape to adhere them all down. And this one has my currently. And then I use this um, tag which is 2016 um, from Target Dollar Spot. And then you can see down here again I forgot to show that this tab says fun. And then this, these tabs up here have the little hearts, which I thought were super cute. And so this folds down, and there's a picture of me. I use, this is, I think, a Heidi Swap uh, bow bling. And then I added the word smile, and these are stickers from Hobby Lobby. And then this is an MFT die. I think that's a hot cocoa die. And then... I use the words, or I die cut me, those are spellbinder uh, letters that I die cut out. And then this one says hugs, and this is from, I got these dies from Hobby Lobby, and I can't remember the brand, but how super cute is that to put them on all the tabs? So I thought that was, a little, that was cute, and on this page, this is just me saying hello. I used all my different washi tapes, so hearts, and then the hello washi tape, that's Heidi Swap. This one is from my uh, Hobby Lobby, and I just thought that was super cute, just saying hello, 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 and then that's me. So this is my little flip book. I think it came out super cute. I did make, um, uh, you know, it's similar to a like mini album, so I did have to create um, the gussets, and I did use a hidden, hidden hinge. I made three hinges, and I used the Kathy Orta style uh, hidden hinge system to create this and again using 110 pound heavyweight cardstock instead of chipboard and then just covered it with um, the pattern paper and I think it came out super cute. So this is my flip book and then I want to quickly share with you the purse that I made. I made another purse and this purse is going to be gifted to the same person and um, I just followed that purse tutorial again and I added this really pretty pink blingy bow. This person likes pink. And I just used some shiny black paper which was in a Halloween stack from Michaels. And um, this pattern paper, I can't remember. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. I don't remember which pad it came from. I added some Michaels bling um, right here and right here and on the front. So that is my super cute paper purse, and I've already um, filled it up with goodies. I used a Velcro closure, and it just has some goodies in here, and then this super cute notebook I'll share with you really quick. I did alter this Michaels notebook. I colored up this saturated canary girl, and I just thought it was super cute since it's summertime, and it just says sweet, and I added a pretty blingy pink sequin bow. And I think it came out extra cute, and this person can just throw this in their purse and, you know, keep it in their, you know, it's just a cute notebook. So that is my project share for today. I hope you guys like what I have created. Please leave me a comment and leave me a thumbs up if you like what I have created today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.